Example 2.2. HP has completed a study indicating that $50,000 in reduced maintenance this year, or year zero, on one processing line resulted from improved wireless monitoring technology. A. If HP consider, considers these types of savings worth 20% per year, find the equivalent value of this result after five years. In Part B. If the $50,000 maintenance savings occurs now, find its equivalent, va yeah, its equivalent value three years earlier with interest at 20% per year. Okay, so let's uh, focus on part A first. So here, just, okay, so we have A. And let's see what we have. So yeah, we do know that um, the $50,000 in this case are going to be your P. Then at 20% per year, that's our interest. And we want to know the equivalent value of this P after five years. So N equals to five years. And since we want to know the value after the fifth year, then we're looking for F. Okay, so if we're to draw the diagram, so we need a diagram of five years. And we have here zero, one, two, three, four, and five. So in year zero, here you have savings. Okay, so if you have savings, that means that it's going to be a positive arrow. So in year zero, you have your P going up. For fifty thousand, you have the interest at twenty percent per year, and since we want to know the equivalent value, then I'm going to put it going down. It's an unknown f, but in order to illustrate that it's an equivalent value, I'm putting it down, even though you don't know if it's going to be up or down. Okay, so. As previously mentioned, the best way to approach this is with the tabulated factors. So here you have, since we're looking for F, again, we're going to focus on the left side because it's find F given P. Okay, And let's focus on this notation. Uh, so let me write this down. So we have F equals to P times find F given P. So remember that the first letter is fine, the second one is a given, and we have the interest and the N. So it is, so it's gonna be F equals to P find F given P at I to the N. Okay, so I plug in the values, P is 50,000, find F given P, 20% and 5. This means that we need the 20% table. So we go to our tables and here I already have the 20%. Now one thing that you need to take into consideration is that while we have a lot of tables for a lot of percentages and a lot of ends, we will not have all of them. So for example, here you have 20, but then the next one is 22%. So we do not have a 21% table. Then after this, it goes to 24. So that means that there's no 23% table. Also, one thing that you need to take into consideration is that, for example, in the 20% table, it only goes up to year 60 and it's also skipping some of the years so from 35 it goes to 40. In the event 
that you have to solve a problem for a table that it's not on this list or an n that it is not in the table then the best way to approach this is by because you can estimate them but it will take more time the best way to solve this is by using the actual formula Okay, but in this case we do have the 20% table so let's take advantage of that so okay so we said that we need the 20% so I have it identified then we identify the column find F given P Okay, and then it's gonna be for five years so I have my five here this is the number where the row and column intersect so it's gonna be 2.4883 so that means that this is equal to 50,000 times 2.4883, giving you an equivalent value of 124,415. Okay. So this is a result for part A. If we read part B, if the $50,000 maintenance savings occurs now, find its equivalent value three years earlier with interest at 20% per year. Okay, so now we need to change this or turn it around because even though the $50,000 are occurring now, we want to find a value earlier in time. So that means that the 50,000 are in the future. So what we're actually looking for in this part is the present. And our 50,000 becomes the future value. Okay, same interest rate, 20% per year. And in this one, it change, uh, the time changes, so now it's gonna be three years n equals to three years. So then, okay, uh, let's draw the diagram for this one. This one's only for three years. Make it shorter. There it is. It's going to be year zero, one, two, and three. Okay, so therefore, Another way that you could have started this would be by saying that this was actually um, year zero, because remember it says that it occurs uh, now, and this would be year minus one, minus two, minus three. Okay, but in total we will have uh, three years. So the P, well, it's easier if it starts in year zero. Okay, so then uh, in year zero, we're going to have our P. Oh, I'm going to change the color. Okay, so I'm going to put the P going down because in this case we have a positive F. So we just want them to balance out. But then again, this is unknown, so it can be either positive or negative. So F will be 50,000. And don't forget to put the interest at 20% per year. Okay, so now we're looking for P, find P given F. And so if we go to the notes, we're going to see that now we're going to be focusing on the right side. Okay, we also have our formula here. And we have the notation or the tabulated uh, factors. So then again, this is easier to use, but if you were to solve it using the formula, then this part right here, on the inside the brackets, would be equivalent to the tabulated factor. Okay, so let's go with this one right here. So in this case, P will be equal to F times find P given F at an interest and n. So we plug in the values. So now our f is 50,000 
find P given F at 20% for three years. And so it's going to be 50,000. Let's look this up in the table. So same table, 20%. 20% table, but now we're going to be using a different column because now we want to find P given F and for three years. So this is the factor where the row and column intersect. So it's going to be 0 0.5787. Okay, so it can be 0 0.5787. And this will give us a total of 28,935. And this will be the answer for part B.